global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel again. Alin Dume, the chief whip, is talking. And this time around, he's raising his voice very loud. There is more that meets the eyes that those in the corridor of power are not letting Nigerians know. And Alin Dume is talking now, and he has a lot of reasons why he's saying that. In fact, he literally talked about his personal life. And he wants Nigerians to really be worried because the situation is there and it's getting out of hand. And of course, one of the newest um, allies of uh, Bola Metinum have decided to come against Alin Dume. And he gave his reasons why doing Alin Dume is really coming against the presidency. We find a lot of issues. In fact, it's, it's drama loaded. But before we go to the next report, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside the set bell notification icon. Please go ahead. Click on it to get notified as soon as we teach that channel on YouTube. As a few hours ago, the chief whip of the Senate, Senator Ali Indume, has said that the president, uh, that he said that the, that the people surrounding the president, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, are not allowing people to go and see him. Speaking during an interview, Ali Indume said that several times when they met in public, the president had always asked him why he has not been coming to the Asso Rock Villa to see him. He said that in response to that, he told the president that any time he looks for him, he will come and see him. He said that he once told his staff that the people around him, Tinubu, are keeping people out of the villa. Duma said that the Asoro villa is now like a graveyard because people are not allowed to go and see President Tinubu. He said that even, even he, as the chief whip of the Senate, does not have access to the president. He said, let me tell you one thing. The president, severally, if we meet in the public, will say, Ndume, why are you not coming? And I will say, no, Mr. President, when you look for me, I'll be there. When asked if he has ever told the president that the people around him are not allowing people to see him, Ndume said, I said it once to one of his staff that they are the people that are keeping us out of, out of this place. And so I would not struggle to come and see Mr. President, but I have an obligation to speak for the people or speak for my people, or speak as a senator. It should be recalled that during an interview uh, with another TV station a few days ago, Duba had said that the president Tinubu has been fenced off and caged. Duba said that even some ministers cannot sit Tinubu, not to mention the members of the National Assembly, who do not have the chance to see the president and tell him about the, the hardship and the economic challenges in the country. He didn't also stop there. He took further notes to tell Nigerians what the fate is. And instead of I say that actually he is 64 and he says he's 64 years old and that there's quite um, a lot of hunger going on. Now he said that um, the Nigerians dare force insecurity and crisis situation ranking among the world's worst hotspots according to the UN World Food Program and Action Against Hunger. And the senator shares his personal concern as a citizen, as a father, and a grandfather, fearing for the future of his 10 children, 20 grandchildren. He emphasized the gravity of the situation, being trapped in a country without a passport or even a visa, unlike others who have the means to travel freely. Now, do may urge those in power to acknowledge the magnitude of the crisis and inform the president, stressing the need for immediate action to address the food insecurity and insecurity plaguing the nation. Let me quote you word for word. He said, look, in the countries that face severe food crisis or food insecurity, this time around, check the figures published by the UN World Food Program Action Against Hunger. They rank Nigeria as one of the hotspots for people like me. I have to be scared, as I told you. I'm 64 years old with 10 children and 20 grandchildren. I don't have passport or visa to anywhere. You have more than one, I know. You stay in Nigeria and you can go to London tomorrow morning. I can't do that because I don't have the visa to anywhere. This is a very serious and scary situation. And most importantly, why I'm scared is if those in power do not allow the president to know the magnitude or get informed about the current situation, so that they do something, then 
you get worried. Now let's hear what uh, the president Bola said. I wonder why Bola is saying what he's saying now. Now, Dana Bola, who happened to be an ex aide to former vice president Alaji Atiko Abubaka, has queried Senator Mohamed Ali Dume over his recent comment on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Dume, the Senate chief whip, had in an interview claimed that Tinubu had been caged in so wrong by people with selfish interest. He said that the president is unaware of the sufferings of Nigerians, adding that attempts to see the president earlier, either by ministers or senators, have been blocked by those surrounding Tinubu. Now, reacting to the comments, Bola, who has been ardent praise singer of the president, wrote this and I quote him word for word. He said, By now, it will be safe to say that Senator Ali Dumas media rounds and outbursts are personal and selfish. Hmm. It appears to be about his interest and passion for gaslighting, gaslighting and grandstanding. The president will see who he wants to see, when he wants to see him or her. If you feel you have something to tell him about the masses and the economy, but you can't see him. You still have the option of conveying the same message via the Senate President, Chief of Staff, or even the Vice President who comes from the same state with you. He also added that Senator Ndumas' recent conduct must be embarrassing to the Vice President Shatima. That's Kashim Shatima. The use of inodo and brash words are not necessary and stop weaponizing the suffering of Nigerians for your own gain. If you if you are just realizing that Nigerians are suffering, you are a late comer. Pack well, distinguished, he added. Come on now. The question is, does Adeline Dume have a right to speak? Yes. Does Adeline Dume have the right to speak for his constituency? Yes. Does Adeline Dume have the right to speak as a citizen? Yes. So what is with this? Look, I think we should stop uh, you know, doing propaganda with the hunger of Nigerians. So, there's hunger in the land. Nigerians are suffering. Maybe they don't understand its gravity. They need to say it again and again and again. But let's feel the pause of Nigerians. Of course, Nigerians are talking. In no particular order. That's what he says. I don't take people like Kondima seriously. It's all about their personal interest. That's not true. He has been talking. Well, some person have been sharing shouting that actually, now that it's the turn of the Southwest, they're not announced screaming. Well, they don't usually talk. And the man is the one who's been, been very straightforward. But well, let's continue. So he says, um, and then, and Dume has a lot to offer. Okay, another person here says, that's the life of Senator Dume. He always loved to put down anyone ahead of him. Abba. And that person here says, there is truth in what Dume said about Tunibu's administration. A government that sees the people's the people's anger and protestation about the hardship in the country as the handiwork of opposition politicians is far removed from the reality of the situation on ground. He that is, he is there too, it had dismissed the, the protestation with a wave of the hand. The Kenyan protests ignited its fears that Nigerians could replicate the Kenyan example, hence its panicky, unrealistic measures to hand weak the people into believing that the measures will emulate the hardship. Let's hope it does, because there's hunger in the land. Let's go wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze.